13th ranked Texas A&M began SEC play against 15th ranked Missouri this weekend at the Aggie Softball Complex. In game one on Friday, the Aggies dropped an 0-7 loss to the Tigers. Despite the loss, the Aggies had two great outfield assists to throw runners out on the bases from right fielder Cassie Tysarczyk and left fielder Callie Lamphere. Catcher Nicole Morgan also threw out a Tiger on the bases, picking up her fourth pickoff of the season. The season opener ended with 1,001 fireworks in honor of head coach Joe Evans' 1,000th victory earned last weekend against Wisconsin. In game two on Saturday, the Aggies bounced back from the loss to run roll the Tigers 11-2 in five innings. Sophomore pitcher Katie Marks threw all five innings to continue her unbeaten streak for the season. Ty Sarchek and Morgan each had home runs on the day. With the win, the Aggies even the series 1-1. One one. The series finale on Sunday went into extra innings when the first seven ended with the score tied 3-3. Three three. The three runs for each team both came on three run home runs in the third inning. After shutting out the Tigers in the top of the eighth, Texas A&M got senior Emily Albus to third base. With two outs, Missouri intentionally walked Nicole Morgan. The next batter, Cassie Tysarczyk, hit a deep ball to left field. It hit off the left fielder's glove, allowing Albus to score from third, ending the game. Uh, the great thing is Cassie is ready for her opportunity. She's done such a great job hitting behind Nick in the four hole. It's not always an easy thing to do, knowing that you're gonna be put on the line and have to come up with a clutch hit. But Cassie relishes the opportunity and she's been clutch for us all year. And she got up there looking to hit and drive the ball. Very first pitch, she gets it and just gets all of it and hits up all hard. So I was really happy for her. I am happy for uh, who she is, uh, how she plays the game. Um, just a great team captain and a great leader on our ball club. But I love that she wants to be the one up in that situation. I've been hitless off of that pitcher. She's a good pitcher and she was throwing really well against our lefties. And um, I went, you know, I think I was 0 for 6 off of her at that point. So, um, you know, for me, that's just kind of building off my at bats and learning from my at bats. Honestly, I, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking in there. I just kind of saw a pitch that I could hit and just threw my hands out there. And with the win, the Aggies take their first SEC series win of the season. It feels great to come away with a win of the series, especially considering that we struggled Friday night against their ace. And for our team to come back and run rule them the second day, and then today to come out there and win a really tight ball game in extra innings. I'm, I'm proud of our ball club. I thought we played really hard. It's a really big deal for us to come out and get that uh, series win versus Missouri because they're a great team. Um, they have great pitchers and they have great hitters up there too. And it's a really big deal for us to set the tone for uh, the rest of the conference. Their next action will be in South Carolina over spring break. Texas A&M will return home to play Northwestern State on Tuesday, March 18th. Come out to the Aggie Softball Complex to support your fighting Texas Aggies.